about to witness an epic Tyro Magnus reaction. Hey! Hey! You kids get off my damn lawn! Huh? You better run. I got some lightsaber for your ass. That's how I'm going to act when I'm like 92. Kids might not, they don't know who they fucking with. They be like, this old man is crazy. All right, so, came across this article in Yahoo News. Like the first thing in my feed before I uh, was going to check my email. I said, oh, what? So it says, Batman versus Iron Man fan film looks awesome, but will it survive? When the Joker gets out of jail, the impossible happens. Characters from DC and Marvel meet on the screen in a CGI extra <laughs> extravaganza. Maybe. So here's what it says. Here's the setup of a new fan film now raising funds on Kickstarter. The Joker gets freed from prison by a group of humanoid combat robots. He then robs a Batman's lair and takes all his wonderful toys. <laughs> Next, he gets his hands on one of Iron Man's suits, which he hands over to the uber villain that set him free from prison. And of course, battles ensue in which Batman winds up fighting Iron Man, although it's not really Iron Man. Okay. All his supposedly all this supposedly takes place after the Dark Knight and the original Iron Man movies. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? And based on the trailer above, it looks like it'll be high quality as well. The only question is, will the film ever see the light of day? Two major obstacles stand in its way. The first is that the film's creators, a group of young animators known as the Root End Team, with members in the US, Europe, Iran, are asking for $96,000 to create a 15 minutes of their CGI Opus Plus. Let me say Opus. Batman versus Iron Man, the Jokers. They want $190,000 to make the last 30 minutes. And only people who pledge cash will be able to watch the final project. Interesting. I might have to get to pledging. Let's see here. Considering that there are oodles of fan films out there that people make for free, like this dark re-imaging of the Power Rangers. Yeah, he made it for free. This seems like a huge ask. I reach out to the filmmakers to see what they need uh, all the moolah for. Creating CGI films is actually very expensive, and we have done our best to bring the expensive expenses as low as this. They told me, honestly, we expected people to ask us how we managed to decrease the expenses that much. The reason why our film is more expensive than other fan films is that this one is a full cinematic CGI film. Interesting. The second issue has to do with the intellectual property rights. While it's inventive to mash up one character from DC and one from Marvel, those major powerhouses may not want their intellectual property used so freely. Just last week, we saw a very cool, darkly animated James Bond short, I didn't see that, get squashed by MGN within hours of its release. So the studios are watching. Wow. Just like they came at Power Rangers. But Power Rangers is back up, of course. Still, projects like these open our minds to what might be possible in a world without so many lawyers. And the trailer is a good little ride. I'm, I'm about to watch it. I just had to get through this for y'all. Let's see what this was all about. The creators say they picked Batman and Iron Man because they wanted to pit two ordinary heroes against one another. We all agree that Batman and Iron Man are the most realistic characters amongst comic heroes, says producer 
Oh, I cannot pronounce his name. Because they don't have any superpowers and they use their intelligence intelligence and their invented technology to do their work. Plus, it's just a fun idea. Time will tell if it's one that will ever see the light of day. Hmm. Okie dokie. Let's get this reaction on. combine those two. I like how they combine the symbols like that. That was cool. Um, I'll tell you this, Magnus Sites. I have been saying for the longest time, and I want this to happen. I want this to happen so bad. And I want DC and Marvel to start releasing movies like this. First off, Disney has shown us that you can have Massive success with CGI's films. Disney, Pixar, whoever have you that are doing all these mega blockbuster CG animated films has showed us that these movies are profitable. Now, my point that I'm getting to, after I saw the DC Online trailer, I immediately said, we need a film like this. We need a film like this. We will all, I'm te D DC, I am telling you, on the behalf of all comic book fans out there, that we will go see a full length feature film, CGI, of our favorite heroes. Guaranteed, you will not waste your motherfucking money. And since I'm a voice actor, I gladly offer you my voice. But other than that, post, post your comments down below and tell them, tell DC and Marvel that we will go see a full length. If you can make it the quality of DC Online's trailer or better, because DC Online's trailer was made a few years ago. And matter of fact, I'll post a link to my reaction to it. Um, matter of fact, I had seen it before, but I wanted to watch it again for all my Magnusites because, you know, I just love, I just loved how they brought them all together in that, it was, ah, trailer was beautiful. Perfection, exactly what that trailer was. If you could make a full length feature film, I am there. I am there as fast as I will be there to see Star Wars, to see Avengers, to see Jurassic World, to see Batman versus Superman. I will be there, okay? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Will you go to see a full-length feature CGI film from Marvel or DC that's as good or better as the quality in DC Online? Woman! subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.